So <clears throat> now we'll uh, define what is plane of symmetry. So first of all, we should do what a plane of symmetry is. Then we can apply this concept to the molecules, right? A plane of symmetry. You know, a molecule is said to have a plane of symmetry if an imaginary plane that passes through the center of the object divides the object so that one half is the mirror image of the other half. This is what a plane of symmetry is. Suppose you have a molecule. So if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, uh, have a, a hypothetical plane, so that you know this plane passes through the center of the object, and if this plane, hypothetical plane, divides this object into two equal halves, then we say that this molecule has this molecule has plane of symmetry we say that this molecule has plane of symmetry when it can have a plane of symmetry when a, uh, in an imaginary plane that passes through the center of this object or this of or this molecule so that uh, you know one half is the mirror image of the other half means if a molecule can be you know divided by a hypothetical plane into two equal halves which are you know which are mirror images of each other which are identical to each other then we say that this molecule has a mirror plane or it has a plane of symmetry so any molecule this is very important any molecule that has a plane of symmetry is not chiral so a molecule which has a plane of symmetry will not be chiral in most cases so isko hum extend bhi kar sakte we can extend this concept here any molecule that has a plane of symmetry is not chiral and any molecule which doesn't have a plane of symmetry in most cases it will be chiral so in most cases but not all it's very important but not all there are so many exceptions there but in majority cases in most cases in most molecules if no plane of symmetry is present in the molecule if there is no plane of symmetry in the molecule then the molecule will be chiral so absence of a plane of symmetry is the criteria for chirality for most molecules there are few exceptions but for most molecules the absence of a plane of symmetry is the criteria for it to exhibit chirality to exhibit optical activity i will make this concept clear to you through some examples which are given in this slide you know you see this molecule here is the three dimensional uh, structure of this molecule is the three dimensional 3d arrangement of this molecule if we see this molecule here this molecule these two groups here this group and this group here these two groups are identical means this carbon here this carbon here it is attached to three different groups not four different groups it, it is attached to three different groups this is one one type of group these two groups are same so we label them two two and three so this mole this atom is central atom is attached to three diff uh, different types of groups although there are four groups but two of those groups are similar so you can see you can easily this is the this is what a hypothetical uh, you know uh, plane is it's a uh, plane is two dimensional right this is a hypothetical plane if this plane what you have to do you have to hypothetically draw this plane on the structure of a molecule on a structure of a molecule if this plane if this plane this hypothetical plane if this hypothetical plane if this hypothetical plane divides the molecule divides the molecule into two equal halves into two equal halves we see 
we say that the molecule has a plane of plane of symmetry and if it has a plane of symmetry it means then this molecule will be achiral right here i have written this this molecule is achiral because it has a plane of symmetry right why this plane divides this molecule into two equal halves because these two groups are here these two groups these two groups are similar so <clears throat> this molecule will be achiral on the contrary if you look at this molecule here this molecule <clears throat> you know uh, this is a this is the plane hypothetical plane and if you clearly see this plane does not divide this molecule into two equal halves why because from this side this is one side of the plane this is one side of the plane and this is other side of the plane and you see you have one group here which has a different color and you have another group here which has a different color means these two groups are different had they been similar then we would say that this uh, this plane is the plane of symmetry but here you cannot divide this molecule into two equal halves it means that this molecule here uh, does not it uh, it doesn't have a plane of symmetry here we have written this plane does not divide the molecule into two equal halves it's not a mirror plane then this molecule will be if it doesn't have a mirror plane it doesn't have a plane of symmetry it means that this molecule will be chiral so i i hope it's very clear to you now because three dimensional structures are very much clear i will give you another example uh two examples in fact these are mirror images of each other they are mirror images of each other and so are these two molecules they are also mirror images of each other you see here this chirality center here this carbon it is attached to four different groups it's also attached to four different groups so this uh, uh, you know if you s look at this molecule so there is no plane of symmetry because uh, four different groups are, they are different groups you cannot you know have a mirror plane that will uh, divide this molecule into two equal halves so no plane can divide this molecule into two equal halves it means this molecule lacks this molecule it lacks it lacks plane of symmetry it lacks plane of symmetry when it lacks plane of symmetry means the molecule will be chiral now look at this molecule uh this molecule the central carbon here the central carbon here and here these are mirror images this is attached to two identical groups these methyl groups are identical it means you can divide this molecule this molecule has a, a plane of symmetry a hypothetical plane passing through the central carbon means this carbon chlorine means this and hydrogen means this a plane which goes through this central carbon this chlorine and this hydrogen it divides this molecule into two equal halves means it has a plane of symmetry when it has a plane of symmetry it means that this molecule will be a chiral it will not be chiral i hope it's very clear to you now moving on here are some other examples this molecule and this molecule they are stereo isomers to each other this is a cis uh, isomer and this is a trans isomer and you can see the cis isomer because chlorines here they are from the same side of the ring and these hydrogens are from the same side of the ring that's why it's known as the cis isomer you know you see this uh, cis isomer has a plane of symmetry this this is the plane of symmetry this one this plane can easily divide this molecule into two equal halves it has a plane of symmetry when it has a plane of symmetry it means this molecule will be a chiral now look at this molecule it's trans isomer look at this molecule this molecule uh, you know it lacks a plane of symmetry you know 
this is the plane that we have drawn here but it's not a plane of symmetry why because from one side this half this half which i have encircled and this half they are not identical so this half here this half here this half is different than this half so when they are different means uh, it's not a plane of symmetry this uh, plane that we have drawn it's not the plane of symmetry means this molecule lacks plane of symmetry hence it will be this molecule will be this molecule will be chiral so it's a chiral molecule similarly this molecule will be chiral and this molecule will also be chiral because four different groups are there here also and here also they are you know they are mirror images of each other you can see easily they are mirror images of each other right so both are chiral uh, i have already discussed the cyclohexanol and cyclohexanol examples in previous slides now let us uh, use the concept of plane of symmetry and let us see whether we reach to the same conclusion as we reached uh, in that slide i think we'll reach to the same conclusion you see this molecule here this molecule cyclohexanol has a plane of symmetry this plane that i'm showing here this plane this plane it this plane passes through carbon number one carbon number one is this it passes through c4 it's carbon 4 here and hydrogen and oh means this oh and this h here it's a, uh, you know uh, it, it it's not uh, it will not be visible you know reason being uh, it's a you know uh, this is a two, two dimensional surface i cannot show it here but this plane it goes through c1 it goes through c4 and it goes through hydrogen this hydrogen and this oh group so this molecule can be divided into two equal halves it has a plane of symmetry so when it has a plane of symmetry it means that this molecule will be a chiral now move on to this cyclohexanol right you see in 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 here these two sides here this side and this side they were identical but here these two sides are they are not identical from one side you have a double bond from other side you have a ch2 and ch2 group so if you try to you know uh, divide this molecule into two equal halves this plane here it's not a mirror plane this plane here it's not a uh, plane of symmetry because it doesn't divide the molecule into two equal halves hence uh, it this molecule lacks a plane of symmetry hence it will be chiral so this molecule is chiral and this molecule is a chiral any structure conclusion here any structure that has no plane of symmetry in any conformation is chiral and can exist as two mirror image forms called as an enantiomer so this is the conclusion that we have reached any molecule that has no plane of symmetry in any conformation uh, it will be chiral and it can exist as two mirror image forms which are known as which are known as enantiomers we call them as enantiomers so here any structure with at least one plane of symmetry is not chiral and cannot exist as two enantiomers so what you have to look for at least a molecule you know at least a molecule should have one plane of symmetry for uh, for us to conclude that the molecule is not chiral if one plane of symmetry is present the molecule will not be chiral if more if suppose if two or three a molecule can have two or three symmetry planes but minimum what you have to look for you have to look for at least one plane of symmetry if one plane of symmetry is present then the molecule will be a chiral a molecule can have more than one plane of symmetry then there is a there is no question of you know question for this molecule to be chiral and to exist as two enantiomers so a molecule here with no plane of symmetry 
will have non superimposable mirror images this is the conclusion that we have reached here right here in in big words this is the conclusion that we have reached here see here conclusion so conclusion is which you have to keep in mind conclusion is this thing a molecule with no plane of symmetry will have non superimposable mirror images and it will be chiral it will be optically active so it will be optically active and i will define these terms optical activity and inactivity in uh, next uh, you know few lectures similarly a molecule with at least one plane of symmetry if there is at least one plane of symmetry the molecule will have superimposable mirror images if it has a superimposable mirror image the molecule will be a chiral and it will be optically we can say this molecule will be it will be optically inactive so <clears throat> if a molecule contains one carbon atom carrying four different groups we are now combining these uh, things you know presence of a stereo center presence of a stereo center and you know uh, plane of symmetry you know they both these concepts lead to the same conclusion so if a molecule contains one carbon atom carrying four different groups means if a molecule has a one single uh, stereo center is present it means if one stereo center is present in a molecule not two if one stereo center is present in a molecule it means that this molecule will have no plane of symmetry when there is no plane of symmetry the molecule will be chiral it will be chiral and it will be optically it will be optically active so this is all for the today's lecture uh, in next lecture we will uh, deal with the, uh, you know how to draw the configuration of um, these um, chiral molecules configuration of these uh, you know three dimensional structure of molecules and we'll deal with r and 